much uh, for that. Let's get to uh, Abhishek now. He's going to give us a complete recap of the private sector banks that have reported the Q2 numbers and what the report card looks like. Abhishek? Uh, well, to begin with, you know, let's start with the stock price movement. Uh, Nifty has actually declined by 4.5% in this month so far. If you take a look at the comparison of some of the bank's price, uh, the top loser include Indusind Bank, uh, which has declined almost 28% in this month, uh, including today's loss. Uh, bank of Maharashtra, AU Small Finance Bank and Canada Bank, all above 15% losses uh, they have given to investors. Now, on the secured lender side, uh, they have outperformed Nifty. So, SDFC Bank uh, has... Uh, you know, gained by 0.4%. SBI, ICICI Bank and Bank of Baroda have fallen below uh, Bank Nifty's uh, losses uh, that you can see on your screen. So reason for massive decline in stock prices of unsecured lenders has been weakness in their operating profits, elevated slippages and the return ratios which has weakened uh, for the likes of Indusind Bank, RBL, etc. So to begin with, now NI growth has been very healthy for City Union Bank, Kochak Bank as well as SGFC Bank while it has been weak for the likes of Indusind Bank and RBL Bank as well. Operating profits have declined for Indusind Bank and Kochak Bank on a sequential basis, while operating profit growth was good for City Union Bank, Access Bank as well as SDFC Bank, which you can see on your screen for reference. Uh, slippages were the key highlights of the banking results this time around. Slippage ratio improved for SDFC Bank, City Union Bank and Access Bank, while slippage ratio deteriorated for the likes of Indusind Bank, Kochak Bank as well as RBL Bank. So return on asset, one of the key metrics to watch out with respect to why the valuations of banking stocks do come up. Uh, return on assets improve for the likes of Axis Bank, SDFC Bank and City Union Bank, while return on asset uh, deteriorated for the likes of Indusind Bank, Kotak Bank and RBL Bank as well. Uh, just to uh, give our viewers a key headlight, uh, Q1 FI25, 4% uh, ROA of Kotak Mahindra Bank that you see on your screen does include a one-off of about 3,500 crores that they have reported. And if you take a look on a one-year forward basis, a uh, price to book value City Union Bank is now trading at 1.2 times versus Indusind Bank, which is trading at one time. I don't know when was the last time that City Union Bank valuation on a one year forward was higher than that of Indusind Bank. Back to you. Okay, well, that's very, very informative, Abhishek. Thank you very much uh, for that.